Hi everyone, welcome to the Guinea Technology and today I am going to explore about the Cisco ASA firewall and that model is Cisco ASA 5506-X and we will try to understand how physically this firewall is going to look like and what is the different different uh, ports available in this firewall and how we can supply the power source in this firewall and what kind of the feature this firewall is going to provide in the real time production in terms of the protecting your network security operations means if you want to design your network and you want to design your offices then how this firewall is going to protect so i'll explain about the data sets as well what all the feature they have application control visibility next generation ips how many connections they, they can support means concurrent connections what is the ipsec maximum throughput that is going to support and other dimension and the rack unit everything we're going to discuss about that right environmental temperature in which kind of the scenario this firewall is going to be useful so i'll explore from the data set but let's understand first how the physically this firewall is going to look like. So if I'm going to just rotate this firewall, so you can see the 3D view of this particular firewall. So if I'm just rotating, you can see this is the one view, right? And if I just rotate a little bit more, you can just going to find the front panel of the firewall. And this is the most important for any network security engineer. How this firewall is going to look like from the front point of view. So if I'm just going to explore about the ports, right? If you see here, so maximum all the ports for this firewall is going to available from the front side only so you can see in this side we have the power right so it is going to show the power led here right in this side you can see the power led it is going to show your status led here and also it is showing the what is the like the active state of this firewall so every led whatever it is available and written in the power status active that is going to glow either in the green either in the amber or the red so green is everything is going to be good if it's amber, there is a, there is a minor wine, uh, warning. If it is the red, that means something is wrong in the firewall. You have to immediately fix it. Or might be your firewall is not going to work properly. And also we have the Wi-Fi signal because it's also going to support the wireless connection Wi-Fi. So that you can see the Wi-Fi, right? Uh, what is the signal strength and what is the, let's say green or amber, it's down or it's up. So you can just visualize that also. And most important, if you see the power section, so this is the lightweight firewall. And this firewall is going to use for the small business use case. Means if you have the small office, if you have the small branches or might be very limited 5, 10, 20 users sitting in the offices, then you can use this firewall so that you can have to give the 12 VDC 5 ampere power supply. It's a very like similar to the, your any kind of the, uh, not exactly mobile phone, but you can just think about any computer kind of the power supply, any like uh, small appliance power supply it is going to take. And you can see this is the power source so you can connect the power and you can just connect the power adapter the adapter is going to be there and you can just connect that and you can just get the connectivity from this particular firewall apart from this in this firewall total eight ports are going to be there so one two three four five six seven eight port right so why this eight ports so <coughs> technically we have nine ports here but out of these nine port basically one port is going to act as the management port one port is going to act as a console port. So on this port, you can take a console. Means if you want to do the local configuration of this firewall. So on this particular port, you can con connect that firewall and you can do the console connectivity here, right? If you want to take the GUI access of the firewall. So if you want to take the GUI access, means if you want to take the remote access, you want to manage the firewall. If you have any dashboard like centralized management tool. So you can just connect the management connectivity and it is going to act from that particular port. And this is going to provide the management connectivity. So now you can understand means the basic day zero configuration you want to do that day zero means you want to do the basic cli configuration you want to bring the like static route define you want to do that basic policy configuration you want to do that that all is going to happen by the console now these ports are very important these ports can be used for the van let's suppose you have the van connectivity means you have the isp you want to terminate this is going to connect on these ports either either you can connect on the any of the port and also if you have the any LAN connectivity, you want to connect the LAN. So this is also going to connect the LAN. So these seven ports are going to use for the LAN and WAN connectivity. So now you understand why these ports are going to be important and what are the different different use cases we have. Apart from that, we have the USB port. You can see this is the USB port. So by using this USB port, what you can do that, you can just take the files from this firewall to your USB drive or might be if you want to copy the license, you want to copy some kind of the uh, iOS image, software image that is also possible from this particular USB drive, right? And also we have the reset button. You can see this is a reset button. So why this reset button means if you want to just factory default this particular firewall, so you can just do the reset by just pressing long press, probably you have to press five seconds 
and then this firewall is going to be reset and then you can just do the like uh, reset of this particular firewall okay so now at least we understand different different kind of the architecture why this particular all ports are going to be required and what are different different kind of the use case if i further rotate it okay so let me just rotate so this is another side view of the particular firewall so there is nothing is available and you can see there is no if i go in the back side of the firewall you can see just they are having the branding information there is no power source special power adapter is there because it's a lightweight firewall for the small office so we don't have anything to just basically you can just do a, like any kind of the power external supply so now i can show you the all view now if i go in the top view of the firewall so you can see this is the brand name and you can see this is the firewall and if i just go down so again you can see here let me just show you so we have the cisco written on top of that and if i little bit go down you can see we have the different different led right you can see again we have the wi-fi signal led here we have the active we have status and the power every led it is showing here and this led also going to glow so basically we see the front and side the same led is showing here and based on that you can just do uh, like analysis what is happening on the firewalls everything is good or not and you can take an action and there's a brand of this particular firewall you can see the cisco asa firewall so this is cisco asa right double five zero six dash x this is the model if i go and rotate the another side of the firewall let's you want to see the like back side of this firewall so you can see this is the back side of the firewall so see this is the how it is going to look like so this is the exact device if you want to see that it is going to look like similar way so this is the back side where the firewall is going to sit on the any rack or might be if you want to put in the any kind of the table so this is the like back side and you can the, like see that this is the like uh, uh, branding and if i want to see the front panel then i have to see this is the front panel so i hope you guys really enjoy this uh, about the architecture what next i am going to explain after that you see that how the data set is going to look like for this particular uh, uh, cisco sa firewall so i'll explain what is the different different kind of the capability you have what the abs like application visibility control feature next generation ips what ip signal that is going to be supported how many concurrent connection it is going to support so let me start that and you can understand that also to be uh, useful for your learning point of view so let me move to data set so you guys can understand about the data set as well so you can see here <coughs> we are discussing about the cisco asa firewall data set right so let me show you a little bit and then you can see let me just adjust the little bit uh, right here so you can see here like we have the cisco asa data set and you can see like we have the model overview and you can see here they are talking about the 5500 series of the firewall and then after talking about a different the same firewall which i just show you so this 5500 series firewall lot of firewall is going to come but we are talking about the 5506 x model right so we are targeting about this model with the x version but apart from this model we have the different different version as well like you can see 5508 we have the 5516 5525 5545 different different and you can see these firewalls have the different different feature as well so what are different different feature you can see they have the firewall feature we have the next generation firewall feature next generation ips and interfaces so you have to understand if i am going to purchase any of the firewall what is the main feature do you have the next generation firewall feature next generation ips engine and what type of the interfaces do you have the only fiber interface only copper interface or it's a hybrid copper and fiber both so that also you have to understand so now i'm going to talk about a specific for the 5506 so let me go down and if i talk about the feature you can see this is the feature about the detailed performance specification of this 5506 firewall we are talking right now so the most important thing you guys see here the throughput if you are going to use this firewall you are going to get the throughput with application visibility control AV, abc you can see 1024 mb which is going to write the deep inspections right for any traffic which is going to process through the firewall it is going to give the deep inspection and which is going to give the throughput is 250 mbps so that's the one thing now if i talk about the throughput with the firewall with the abs and with the ips engine if all three going to work together so in that case their speed is going to reduce by 50 percent means earlier without ips it was the 250 mbps now with the ips it is going to be 125 mbps 
that's another things now if you are just going to use for the farmer plus abs together with the 5 mb like uh, they are going to be featured the packet they are going to process then the 450 uh, bytes then it is going to give the 100 mps your speed then you have to use the throughput again with the that was the for the 1024 byte or uh, 24 byte and this is the 450 bytes then your speed is going to be degraded accordingly and how many session concurrent session that's the most important guys means if you are going to use the firewall for this firewall if you are going to use then how many concurrent connection you are going to use so see here this is my concurrent connection so this is my concurrent connection is a 50,000 means at the same time if I am going to use this firewall 50,000 but if I am going to use a higher model firewall might be the 100k might be the 250k so this is the basic model in 5500 series of firewall where we have the small office range or like you have the limited staff sitting in the branch office or might be the any colo location then you are going to use because the sessions are quite low right and you can see maximum new connection per second that is a 3000 maximum session three uh, per second it is going to be processed so that also you have to understand and now they are talking about the tls and the throughput with the next generation ips you can see here they are talking about throughput with next generation ips and they are talking about the uh, next generation ips with the 450 byte and 1024 byte so they have the almost uh, 50 percent differences between the throughput of the next generation IPS. What is IPS? Intrusion prevention system. So if you are going to use, then they are going to give that kind of the output. Now you can see most important guys, if I am going to use this firewall, right? I can get maximum speed of the IPsec tunnel. So if you are going to create the any IPsec tunnel, you are not going to get more than 100 MPS speed. That's also a problem, right? So that's why I keep saying this kind of the firewall always going to use for the small office locations, a small color location, so if you have the any big office, then this firewall is not useful for you, right? So that's why you can see this is the IP tunnel and this tunnel is going to get only 100 MPS, 100 MPS throughput while using this particular firewall. And you can see this is Cisco Firepower local manager that is uh, device manager that is also supported. Centralized management, yes, they all can do and application visibility and control. I can mention that this is a normal feature. It is available with this firewall and they're talking about other things right and uh, most thing about you should know the ips engine application visibility ip sec tunnel throughput and if you want to read this document you can just get the more information about that and uh, they are talking about now stateful inspection they are going to give definitely set a stateful inspection with the 750 mps with this 5506 firewall and uh, if you want to uh, run the stateful inspection throughput with the multi protocol 2 right so that is going to give the 300 mps and concurrent connection you can see we have the 50,000 and new connection per second we have the 5k thousand we can see again the IPsec VPN is 100 so the same thing they are repeating with a different uh, kind of the scenario and uh, you can just uh, see the hardware architecture like uh, you can find the dimension you can find the uh, height width and like uh, depth what is going to happen so which I just explained about that and you can see like integrated like port so you are going to get 8 G gigabit ethernet port there is no fiber ports so if you are looking more than the 100 MP, 1000 mps speed this firewall is not for you expansion not possible if you want to insert any io modules means input output card that is not possible with this firewall so you cannot do the any expansion right there is no expansion slot as well so this is a like pre-built firewall and if you want to use this pre-built firewall this is going to use else if you want any expansion like any slot any ports that is not possible a dedicated management port yes we have and uh, serial port yes we just have the serial port one rj45 and mini usb console cable and uh, we have the solid state drive as well 50 jb and usb 2 ports we have you can see here and temperature how many temperature they this firewall can uh, like tolerate you can see this is the temperature 30 degree to 104 fahrenheit to 40 celsius and relative humidity you can see aptitude you can see like these are just for the environmental purpose acoustic noise and all temperature you can see how many temperature they can understand in the minus and so you have this is the power requirement you can see how many power it is going to take and uh, current also ac temperature so everything is available and uh, these all for the power but yes it's very important guys if you want to learn this particular firewall so you should know first how this firewall is going to look like and after looking this firewall you should know like how this firewall is going to configure as well and if i want to become the any next generation firewall engineer 
then you should know how to connect my LAN and WAN cable on different different section of this particular ports, how to take console. So if you really want to learn about this firewall technology, so reach out to us, right? And reach out to our website, www.guinet.com.